so excited to introduce everyone to my friend, Vicki Hamilton Allen, who just wrote a new kid's book. I'm excited about books, Vicki, because I'm an avid reader. I have been since I was a kid. And your book called The Itchy Secret uh, is, is pretty amazing because I think it's going to help a lot of kids. So tell us about the purpose of the book. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for helping me um, promote this message. Um, I am, have not got a history of writing children's book. This is new to me. And my goal was to be able to offer a message to children who may have witnessed or experienced something traumatic and they're being asked not to tell about that. And so this is kind of a permission slip and encouragement for all kids to be able to speak their truth. Does the book stand for anything? It, well, this, this book, in my opinion, stands for a lot of things. Um, first and foremost, when I set out, um, this was really the um, a catharsis in my own healing journey. I am a survivor myself of um, childhood sexual trauma. And as a result, it is something that I have carried inside for many years and all of the feelings that go along with that. And I wanted to have a way to release that. And as adults, we have tools and, and means to, to have various ways to, to express that. But a lot of people start off as children who carry secrets and then it sort of results in adulthood um, matters that they're they're managing. And so I wanted to be able to get ahead and start that healing process earlier because I've said once before, I'm not powerful enough to stop harm from happening to children, but I am strong enough to be able to offer a message and encouragement to those who are carrying messages that cause them internal conflict or discomfort or pain to release them to start their healing journey. What do you think makes this book unique? I think this is the, um, the most encouraging, gentle way to have a bulldozer effect. This is a very soft lyrical message for children to be able to fall in love with the main character and to want to be like Lou and to share something that hurts and be empowered to make a difference on their just life experience. So Lou is the main character, Lou is a lion. Lou is a deliberate lion. <laughs> um, Lou is a lion because lions are courageous and strong, king of the jungle. And I felt like, first and foremost, I didn't want this to be a cartoon character that could be specifically a little girl or specifically a little boy or specifically a little girl or boy with some sort of um, characteristics that all children couldn't align with. So this was not going to be a black, white, yellow, green, purple polka dot person. This was always going to be a universal message because it's a universal issue. And so I wanted to be able to create a character that represents all children and what better than a courageous, beautifully illustrated lion who is capable of roaring. And the idea of roaring is letting out the message for all to hear in order to kind of exert power. And it doesn't go into what the secret is, which I found very interesting. Thank you for highlighting that, Bob. That was intentional because... Um, I feel that a lot of the feedback I have got has been very specific. And I realize that adults who are reading this are overlaying their experience in terms of what they believe the something happened to me was. And so I wrote it in this ambiguous way so that any traumatic experience that kids are being asked not to tell about is what they'll see when they hear the story. And some examples of that could be um, school bullying, um, you know, give me your lunch money, a punch in the nose, don't tell anyone. It, it could be um, someone, maybe a brother or sister stealing money out of mom's purse and saying, don't tell. It could be 
um, someone having something terrible happen to them. Maybe they've suffered physical abuse, sexual abuse, even emotional abuse. Don't tell anyone. And so that's really the, is, is the, the difference between sort of what makes a secret a secret and what makes an itchy secret an itchy secret. It's the discomfort and knowing that you need to tell but don't know who to tell. And so the whole story follows the journey of Lou deliberating in terms of who can be told with this itchy secret to help release it, but it has to be someone that Lou trusts. Where can we get the book? I am so excited to tell you this. So um, when I started this journey, I, um, I, as I said, I'm not a children's author. So this was new for me, but um, it, it, the, the book is available on Amazon and has since been picked up by Powell Books in Oregon and has since put, picked up from uh, Barnes and Noble and Walmart picked it up this week online. So yes. <laughs> you can Google The Itchy Secret by Vicki Hamilton Allen and see a lot of different opportunities to order the book. And I want everybody to have this book because it's not a threat. It shouldn't threaten your kids. It's not a scary book. It's a beautiful, fun, loving, beautiful to look at story that helps them share secrets and if you love kids you will want them to read this because you will want them to think of you as their trusted adult I love it Vicki and my copy right here I'm going to give this away to somebody so on Friday if if people respond to this interview uh we'll put your name in a hat and we'll draw a name on Friday and give it away so if you'd like to uh have the itchy Secret, written by Vicki Hamilton Allen. Make sure you comment on this post. Vicki, I always end every interview by asking the same question, and that is, Vicki Hamilton Allen, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for the opportunity to have friends who are willing to support the efforts that I'm making in this specific journey in my life. And Bob, that goes to you for helping with me with this and for many of the others who are buying these for their kids, talking about this story and really supporting. It's not about me. It's not about the, the book as a book. It's about the message. And so I thank everybody and I'm so grateful for everybody who's helping sp spread this message. Well, we're thankful for you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs>